bigger uh, medical milestones, but it's something that we should know about, and we're asking for some help in finding out about what this is about. Assistant Clinical Professor of Medicine, Dr. Gita Nayar, joins us from George Washington University Medical Center to talk more about what this is and why it is worthy of our attention. Doctor, it's good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dave. You're a, a rheumatologist Correct. by by training, and, and you get a, a, a fair amount of experience in these, these rare diseases. We are talking about um, problems that people have all across the country, but not in the significant numbers maybe when we talk about AMS or, or some of the cancer or heart disease, things like that that affect hundreds of thousands, in some cases millions of people. There are patient populations here, but they're smaller, and frankly they don't get the attention that others do. Absolutely. Dave, you, you hit the nail right on the head. You know, rare diseases typically we say affect uh, patients that maybe 200,000 in, in the population. Um, the reality though is that it affects millions and millions of people across the globe, whether it's patients or families. These are life-threatening diseases, chronically debilitating diseases that really do affect millions and millions of people around the globe. And frankly, diseases that, that a lot of folks will say, I had no idea existed until they get that diagnosis. Absolutely, absolutely. And as a rheumatologist who treats these rare diseases, you know, I see the special challenges that these patients and families go through. Often they can't get to a rheumatologist like me or they can't, you know, talk to their neighbor about this disease because frankly, it's very unusual to have these diseases. And that's why this day is so important and so important that we give this patient population the attention that they deserve. We're trying to raise uh, understanding and, and uh, visibility of not just these specific conditions, but the fact that there are a lot of these diseases out there and so many people affected by them. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, this Sunday is World Rare Disease Day, and one of the w one of the ways that your viewers can help out is by wearing blue jeans. We we are playing off of the genetics and genes and blue denim jeans, and using this as a common uh, method of fundraising and getting the word out there that. These folks need attention, they need uh, fundraising towards research, towards training, uh, towards treatment options, I mean, you name it, these folks really need the help. When someone comes to you from, an example, uh, for example, the Children's Rare Disease Network or something like that, this is not something uh, that just cropped up overnight. There are a lot of people out there uh, represented by those people who, who decided to sort of take up this cause. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, at George Washington, we work with a group called Cure JM, Cure Juvenile Myositis. This is one of many groups dedicated to eradicating some of these rare diseases. Uh, the Children's Rare Disease Network is also another one of those. And, you know, you can go on the web on raredisease.org and uh, sign up, log in, see some of these stories, be part of this virtual collective network, and help give these patients a real voice um, to help drive the attention that they need and the research that uh, is needed in this area. You may not have heard about rare disease day before now, but we hope that you will pay attention to it on Sunday. Wear your blue jeans and raredisease.org. You got it. Doctor, thank you so much. Good to have you here. Gita Nair. Good news, if you are addicted to Java, research finds drinking coffee 